Hi everyone, and welcome to another Beast Math Challenge. Randomizer, select our category for today. The category for today is 4 picks, 1 word. Are you ready? Let's do the challenge. What is your answer? Problem solving. That's right. That is problem solving. I hope everyone got the correct answer. Until our next BizMet challenge, guys. Up for the challenge? Do you want to know the success behind different businesses? Thinking of becoming a businessman in the future? Well, you must remember this. Solve the numbers, work hard for your business, and strive for success. Good day, young entrepreneurs, senior high school students. Today is a brand new day to learn. I am Sarab Hill, your business manager, and welcome to Grade 11 Business Mathematics. Previously on our last episode, we learned about the concepts of fraction, decimal, and percentage. Also, we have discussed the conversion of fraction to decimal, decimal to percentage, and percentage to fraction, and vice versa. Recall that a fraction refers to a part of a whole. That is when you cut a paper into four parts, each of its part is called a fraction. Percentage refers to a special form of numbers in each hundred. They are numbers ratio to 100 with a percentage symbol. Decimal is a proper fraction with the denominator of 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, or n time of tens with a decimal point. I hope you guys still remember all the lessons that we had last time. Because for today, we will be applying those concepts as we learn solving word problems involving fraction, decimal, and percentage. Let us try to analyze the given problem. Your friends, a group of 50, plan to go on a Sunday getaway in one of the beaches of Bataan. You are asked to identify the snack that your group wants to have on the said outing. From the survey you made, the result was spaghetti 46%, palabok 0.30, and pancet 6 over 25. How are you going to compute for the number of votes that your friend give based from the table? Can you express the given data on the table in fraction form? Why is it important to determine the snack that your friends want to have on the outing? Let us find the answer later before the end of this episode. For now, let us have different problems involving fraction, decimal, and percentage to serve as a guide in solving our hanging problem. Ready? Game! Problem Solving Involving Fraction Claire is a public student. Her allowance per week is 650 pesos. If she allotted 2 PIF for transportation, how much is her budget for her transportation expenses? Can we help Claire compute for her budget for transportation? How are we going to do that? Well, remember to use the following steps in solving word problems. Identify what is asked. How much is her budget for her transportation expenses? Enumerate the given. Weekly allowance, 650 pesos. And transportation expenses is 2 fifth of weekly allowance. Identify the equation to be used. Transportation allowance is equal to 2 over 5 times 650 pesos. Since the given is a fraction per weekly allowance, then we have to multiply the 2 over 5 by 650 pesos. Performing the indicated operation, transportation allowance is equal to 2 over 5 times 650 pesos. Multiplying numerator to the whole number, transportation allowance is equal to 1,300 over 5. Dividing 1,300 pesos by 5, transportation allowance is equal to 260 pesos. Then, the final answer is, Claire's weekly budget for her transportation expenses is 260 pesos. 
Very good, we're able to help Claire compute for her weekly transportation expenses. Following the same process, let us now try to solve problems involving decimal. Problem solving involving decimal. Joy is a nurse who's working in a private clinic in Bulacan. Every weekend, she volunteers in Manila Public Hospital. The distance between Bulacan and Manila is 126.5 kilometers. Joy has already traveled 0.852 of the distance. How far more Joy has to travel from Bulacan to reach Manila? Do not forget to solve the problem using the steps in solving word problems. Identify what is asked. How far more Joy has to travel from Bulacan to reach Manila? Enumerate the given. Distance between Bulacan and Manila is 126.5 kilometers. Distance already traveled is 0.52 of total distance. Identify the equation to be used. Distance already traveled is equal to 0.852 times 126.5. Since the given is a decimal of the total distance, then we have to multiply the 0.852 by 126.5 km. Performing the indicated operation, Distance already traveled is equal to 0.852 times 126.5 kilometers. By multiplying, distance already traveled is equal to 107.778 kilometers. Subtract the distance already traveled from the total distance. Distance needed to reach Manila is equal to 126.50 kilometers minus 107.778 kilometers. Getting the final answer we will have, distance needed to reach Manila is equal to 18.722 kilometers. Therefore, Joy need to travel 18.722 kilometers more to reach Manila. Very good! We hope Joy will reach Manila safely as she will volunteer as a nurse in Manila Public Hospital. Salute to Joy and to our frontliners. Now moving forward, let us have an example of problems involving percentage. Ready? Game! Problem solving involving percentage. A summer boutique offers 35% discount in total bill to attract customers to buy their product in the midst of pandemic. If Ann's total bill in purchasing merchandise is 3,456.75 pesos, how much is her discount? Let us compute for the discount of Ann using the steps in problem solving. Identify what is asked. How much is her discount? Enumerate the given. Discount is 35% and Ann's total bill is 3,456.75 pesos. Identify the equation to be used. Ann's total discount is equal to 35% times 3,456.75 pesos. Since the given is a percentage of the total bill, then we have to convert 35% into decimal and multiply the result to 3,456.75 pesos. From there, perform the indicated operation. Ann's total discount is equal to 35% times 3,456.75 pesos. Convert 35% to decimal. Ann's total discount is equal to 0 0.35 times 3,456.75 pesos. Multiply the discount rate to the total bill. Ann's total discount is equal to 1,209.86 pesos. Therefore, and saves 1,209.86 pesos. I know you now master the process of solving problems involving fractions, decimals, and percentage. Indeed, we are now ready to solve our hanging problem at the beginning of this episode. Same as in our previous example, for us to solve the problem given before the discussion, we will be using the steps in problem solving. Let us recall the hanging problem. Your friends, a group of 50, plan to go on a Sunday getaway in one of the beaches of Bataan. You are asked to identify the snack that your group wants to have 
on the said outing. From the survey you made, the result was spaghetti 46%, palabok 0.30, and pancit 6 over 25. How are you going to compute for the number of votes that your friend give based from the table? Can you express the given data on the table in fraction form? Why is it important to determine the snack that your friends want to have on the outing? Identify what is asked. How many people vote for each snack? Enumerate the given. Total number of person is equal to 50, spaghetti is 46%, palabok is 0.30, and pancit is 6 over 25. Identify the equation to be used. For spaghetti, you need to have 46% times 50. Palabok, 0.30 times 50. Pancit, 6 over 25 times 50. Perform the indicated operation. To solve for the number of your friends who voted for spaghetti, spaghetti is equal to 46% times 50. Convert the percent to decimal. Spaghetti is equal to 0.46 times 50. Then multiply. Spaghetti is equal to 23. While to solve for the number of your friends who voted for palabok, palabok is equal to 0.30 times 50, and multiply, palabok is equal to 15. And lastly, to solve for the number of your friends who voted for pancit, pancit is equal to 6 over 25 times 50, multiply numerator to the whole number, pancit is equal to 300 over 25, you divide 300 by 25, pancit is equal to 12. So there, we already computed for the number of your friends who voted for each snack. There are 23 people voted for spaghetti, 15 for palabok, and 12 for pancit. As per conversion, 46% of your friends is 23, 0.30 of your friends is 15, and 6 over 25 of your friends is 12. We are almost done, young entrepreneurs, but for us to know if we master the topic for today, let us have our knowledge check. It is my TikTok time! Students got to select the type of TV program for they like. 150 students participated in the survey. The result is presented in the pie chart. Using the pie chart, our task is to identify the number of students who like the different type of TV program. Ready? Let's start! Drama Teleserie 126 Anime 12 News 9 Reality Show 3 Great job everyone! We were able to identify the number of students who like different types of TV program. How about you guys? What TV program do you prefer? Identifying the number of people according to percentage, decimal, and fraction is important as you can have proper allocation and appropriation. Accuracy is important for you to gain trust from others and especially from your family and friends as well. That is all for today, young entrepreneurs. Next episode, we will identify the different kinds of proportion that will further enhance your knowledge in business mathematics. This is your business manager, Sir of Hill, and thank you for watching Senior High School Grade 11 Business Mathematics. Do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Deped TV Official, for more information and updates. See you again next week. Learning Chill with Sir of Hill only here on Deped TV.